Hello, today we're replacing the handbrake cables, I guess cables, on my uh, 1993 Miata. Um, as you can see, I've got the NA Miata with the, the flippy lights, and you can also see there's, uh, it's missing a couple pieces right at the moment. Um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be real easy, hopefully, to, to get these parts in with the drive shaft and the PPF and the exhaust all out of the way. Um, and then hopefully we should be able to get some clear shots of what it looks like where where all these mount up. So your very first step is going to be lift the car up, at least lift the back of the car, probably lift the whole car. And then we're going to be disconnecting the handbrake cable from the rear caliper. And it should look something like this here. So there, the cable comes in, it goes through this little arm, and then it grabs on here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get two wrenches um, of the same size and spin these nuts away from each other. And then you can force this uh, out the side and maybe I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, that'll just pop off from... Next, we're going to grab some, maybe some little pick tools um, and some really small screwdrivers, some flatheads. All right, so here's my shift boot and this is our cable that comes down so I'll have to undo this and but we're gonna start over here there's these two clips here look how good of a video I can take with everything out of the way so these two clips looks like they'll just price straight down all right check this out this is gonna be amazing so first pro tip do not have your head directly below this, or you're going to you need some serious safety protection. But you can slip your flathead right through this little hole here, and then pry straight down like that. And there we go. Um, and these cables, so I can see this one comes up here, goes this way right above my beautiful like Nardo gray gas tank goes through there and bam we got a little bolt here to take out okay so this little bolt here um, is a 12 so we're gonna slap our 12 on it and there we go and then on the other side right there Easy enough, we're gonna get those two down and then I believe we should be able to shimmy these cables uh, maybe forward through the front of this. We'll find out. Basically, with these, um, you just rotate this guy around until you can get the cable to line up with this hole here. And then it's just gonna be a matter of just popping it straight down like a little puzzle piece. Doop. No. Once you have them out of this spot, you can go ahead and sort of, oh, whoops. You can uh, push it right through this hole here. And then that's how we're gonna, you know, get it all the way out of the car. So we're just gonna shove it through there. And then, whatever, we'll get the first, the other one first. <laughs> Check out my raw strength here. Look at that. I wonder if, um, I don't know. For some reason, my handbrake has been really squishy for a long time, and I readjust it, and then it doesn't work over and over and over. You can see this in action. Check that out. Now it's just going to be a matter of shimmying it towards the front here, straight through this front circle hole. And unfortunately, I'm going to need my other hand. I'm going to shove it with a screwdriver or something from the back. it out we are free so now this guy just sort of line up that little hole there and shove him through 
Boom, look at that. This is... Man, I was putting this off for so long. All you gotta do is, you know, take your exhaust, PPF, drive shaft, to just take all your stuff out. Just kidding though. But like, if you ever have all that stuff out, this is what you need to do. This guy looks like it might be a 10 mil. Oh, that is, that's not good. That's not healthy for a 10. <laughs> Ooh, did I break it free or did I just slip it off like an idiot? I got it. So yeah, once you get that little bolt out, then you can just slip this uh, out of this hole. You'll have to just bend it upwards and then shimmy it and now we're free. So yeah, there was this one screw somewhere around here and then these two pieces just pop off from each other. And then I was looking around for the nut. I'm looking for like a regular nut, but it's actually this guy. Oh, my flash has run out. But um, it's very strange shape and well, you can kind of see it there. Here, um, let me focus in on it. This is the handbrake adjustment nut. And um, when you're spinning it, there's this little clip that you should have and it's going to keep slapping against the handbrake and it's going to be making a clicky clicky noise. And so you just put a big flat head in the top here and spin it until it's off. And you want to make sure you have that last nut on the bottom side of the car still on just in case you're spinning the entire cable. So now with this off, we should be able to undo that nut and go down there and take the cable the rest of the way out. Okay, so here's the old cable, and we went ahead and slipped this little part off. It was really easy. You just sort of pinch and push these two metal clips together. Um, and then getting this out from in the car was kind of a pain. If you have a buddy, have one person underneath the car, you know, pulling and wiggling this, one person pushing this and adjusting the handbrake lever just to make sure we're not getting caught on anything. Because I had to get out and get under, back and forth, over and over. Alright, when you put the new cable through, um, here it is here, make sure you get into this little channel. Um, and you're almost certainly going to need a partner. One person down here, one person up here, telling you that you're in the wrong hole and to go lower, higher, deeper, etc. Um, and then once you get it up through here, you put this little nut back on, leave the clip on the nut thing while you do it, and spin the nut in place with the flathead to get it to bite, not by hand, because otherwise you won't be able to keep your clip on. It was a pain, but we're here, um, and it helps to have the little porthole to, to communicate through. Um, so now, let me show you underneath. Okay, as you can see, it looks about right. We got the little, where am I? We got the thingy, got the little bolt piece, we got the spring. Now we're ready to put the two cables on. All right, to put all these back cables back in place, you'll want to first uh, snake them through in the appropriate holes. Remember that they have to cross each other. Um, you'll know which one's which because of these tabs. They can only go one way. If you have them the wrong way, then these little pins won't go into the hole. They'll be sticking up instead. So once you get them through here, you will, you know, have your handbrake le uh, lever, have it all the way down so that you have as much slack here as possible. Don't put your spring in yet, and then you can twist this around and slot this in, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to toy with it for a minute. And then once you get these both in, then go ahead and put your spring on. Then go ahead and put these in. And I was able to push them in with my fingers for most of the way, and then I just smacked them in with a wrench until they sat pretty flush. They look about the way I found them. Um, and I noticed this looks a little bit crooked um i don't know does that look crooked to you i think it does but 
Anyway, so that's all together. I got the spring on and then I got these little bolts on. And now it's just these go back on the calipers. Um, and we're we're basically done. And because I have my um, my whole transmission out, I can actually show you. I can reach up through here and pull the handbrake and you can see them uh, moving. So that's fun. Um, yeah, that, that basically does it. I mean, this part over here, this is not that hard. Like if you can't figure it out, if you're really, really confused, find a video where someone does a brake job on their Miata. There's probably like 40 videos of that.